Hey quilty friends, I'm Natalia Bonner and I am back again with a fun little machine quilting video to share with you. So this particular quilt that I'm going to share today obviously is going to be a bit different from what you're used to me sharing. So like I tell you all the time, I do all of my quilting on my Gamel 22 inch machine. Love the machine, love it, love the size, everything about it for free motion quilting. But on my machine, I also have the Statler Stitcher. So if you've never joined me, if you have no idea what a Statler Stitcher is, well, it's the computerized version of a long arm quilting machine. So with Gamel, with their Statler Stitcher, it's really, really easy to unhook it and drive the machine hand guided like you see me do all the time. Or it seriously is like two little things that you hook up to hook it back to the computer and have the computer guide the machine. I absolutely love having the ability to do both, to be able to do the free motion quilting so easily on this machine or use it for the computerized quilting. So what I'm generally sharing with you is the hand guided free motion quilting. But today, because I really wanted to share this particular quilt, there's been a lot of questions about how I quilted the original version of this quilt. So I just felt like it was the perfect day, the perfect opportunity to share with you exactly how I quilted that. And it was using my Statler Stitcher. Okay, so I just want to back up and tell you a little bit about this particular quilt and why I chose to quilt it with an edged edge design. So this panel right here, it's a really awesome panel. It's a big panel. It's, um, you'll see images of it at the end of the video, but it's the Have Yourself a, Ver a Merry Little Christmas designed by Vanessa Gortson of Lella Boutique. So it's a great Christmas panel. If you're like me, there's going to be a lot of people in my life that are getting these for Christmas gifts. Hopefully they're not watching like my mom, um, <laughs> because it's just such a great panel. Um, when Vanessa originally brought it to me, she actually asked me to do custom quilting on it because she really wanted the letters to stand out. There's flowers, different things like that on it. And it is high contrast, the black and white. So when I looked at this quilt, I, the first thing that came to my mind, well, I had a few different thoughts. First of all, it's a panel. Um, and it's intended, the intent of this panel is just to be used at Christmas time. And for me, the intent is it's something that you would actually put on your couch and snuggle up under during the holiday season. So, and Vanessa had like a similar idea in mind. So when I talked to her about it originally, I said, I actually think it would look better as much as I love custom quilting, doing an edge to edge design, using thread that blends really nicely. And then you won't feel like you can't wash it or you can't cuddle in it. Like it feels like you want to just snuggle up under it. And like I said, it's an awesome size, so you totally can. Um, but what kind of thread, what color of thread do you use on a quilt like this that has such high contrast, black and white and green and red? What, how do you use just one thread color? So I decided, and I was super excited about this, you know that I most often am using this so fine thread on the top and the bottom line on my bobbin. Well, for this particular quilt, I actually changed directions and I used the micro quilter thread. This is the actual thread that I used on there. The color number is 7008. Now we do have this available for purchase on our website. It's peaceandquilt.com. So what is the micro quilter thread and why did I use this over the sew fine thread that I'm generally using that you see on most of my quilts? Well, the sew fine thread that I use on most of my quilts is a 50 weight thread. Now when it comes to using threads, the higher the weight, the finer the thread. So it actually kind of can be a little bit confusing, but the micro quilter thread is a 100 weight thread versus the 50 weight so fine. So you can imagine, and I know you can't see this close up, you probably can't even see this at all, but it's a really, really fine, strong thread. So I knew if I used like a nice gray or something like that, that would take on the blacks in the background, but also not be too high contrast on the whites and kind of take on the colors of the gray or the greens and the reds that I would be really happy with the results. So I used the micro quilter thread on the top. On my bobbin, I still stuck with a the color number 624. It's a white color. My backing is green. You'll, I'll show a video, an image at the end of the video. My backing is green and that off-white, whatever color it is, 624, really just blended nicely on the back. And I'm so happy with the results of this quilt. As you've probably seen them popping up online, they it's just a fabulous quilt. So. The pattern, what did I use? How did I actually quilt this particular quilt? 
Okay, so the pattern that I actually used on this quilt, because I know somebody's going to ask, the pattern that I used is called Swirls SPL, and I purchased it from Digitech Designs. That's D-I-G-I slash tech designs. That's where I picked it up. Now, I like to resize my patterns when I'm doing computerized quilting. That's a really great thing about doing computerized quilting. You can adjust the density and the spacing and all of that. So I did adjust the size of this pattern. My pattern finish size, one repeat, is 10.27 inches. And with the spacing, because I don't want to leave any open spaces, I want it to nest together really nicely. My spacing on the gamel is negative 2.2 inches. So I hope that I hope that helps just a little bit that you are able to maybe use these tips, these products that I've used, and quilt your own panels just as beautiful as I was able to quilt this one. In this particular one, I did use one layer of the Quilter's Dream Poly Deluxe batting. I hope that inspires you a little bit. Let's get to the stitching. Make sure to hang around all the way to the end of the video so you can see some of the finished images. Have a great day, everybody.